Of all possible images to burn into my night vision unit, this must be one of the coolest, and you're watching it happen in real time. That's right, I was filming through my PVS-14 just for you when this happened, and I don't know any better excuse for you to give this video a thumbs up right now, so go ahead and do that before we get into how I fixed the problem about 95% after nearly 30 hours. If you can't tell what's happening here, I'll explain. I drove over an hour to access a piece of public land so that I could film an experiment where we see how difficult it is to train under cheap digital night vision. Newsflash, it's essentially not possible, especially if you're incorporating moving into your training. I set targets up, as you see, and over the course of only about 5-10 to 10 minutes, I used the laser illuminator, as well as the Mantis Blackbeard laser training system, and the onboard IR built into the digital night vision to simulate firing at the targets. Even during that short duration of time, I moved the targets two or three times to film different angles. Then it happened, and I don't think you'll even be able to see it on camera unless you really try or maybe up the video quality settings. But I looked through my phone attached to the PVS-14 and noticed that though I had moved the targets from one position to another, I could still see a faint image in the tube of the targets in their last position. This is an oversaturation, hopefully temporary, burn in the tube and means that I made two major mistakes that we can both learn from. One, because the unit was tripod mounted, it only saw a static, unmoving image of the targets, and two, the targets were being hit with light that was much more powerful than the surrounding environment. This caused the image of the targets to be burned into the tube. So, what is the go-to solution to hopefully reverse this damage? It's called black boxing. This is a method where you turn the device on, place it in a dark container, and place that container into a dark portion of a dark room, probably a closet. You leave it in there for as long as you can or until the burn is gone, and you keep your fingers crossed the whole time. The time I left it in was approximately 27 and a half hours, which got the burns nearly all the way out of the tube by essentially resetting the microchannel plate inside of the tube from staring at complete darkness for an extended period of time. I even capped the rear of the PVS-14 so that the small amount of light coming out of the unit itself would not interfere with the process though I did not use the daytime cap because I did not want some freak accident to happen where the pinhole created an image into the tube and therefore another burn after the unit stares at it for hours. I used the case that the unit came with and pulled it out of the closet at the 12 hour and 24 hour mark to see the difference. Here is what the image looked like against a wall after 12 hours, and again, you may not be able to see it, but the burns still exist, though possibly more faint than before. If you separate the tube into four quadrants, the burns would be in the lower right one-fourth of the image. Here is what it looks like after 27 and a half hours, and this is where I'm going to call it quits for now. You can still see the burns, but they're maybe 95% out of the tube, which means that whatever is left is probably permanent, but luckily it's better than it started and not enough to notice during regular use. Here is a view of what the unit looks like during use. You cannot notice the burns at all, which is very nice. I was a little bit scared for a minute there. I hope that we could learn from this experience. Please do rate, comment, and subscribe, as well as share this video, and don't have a good day. Have a good night.